What's good, people? It's your boy Icarus Gray, and this is Gray Area Anime in 2022. Hi! Happy New Year, everybody. Do I have a new video for you? What's the topic gonna be, you're saying? Well, working out? Staying fit? New Year, new me. Transforming into the you you want to be? Getting beach ready. In a new series that I like to call anime no one talks about, the first topic of this year is Run With The Wind. Kakaru is a former elite high school runner who has fallen down on his luck a little bit. At Kansai University, he meets Haji, who kind of saves him from a precarious situation that he was in and invites him to live in a dorm. He then asks him to run in the Hakone Ekiden, which is a huge cross-country race that happens for the universities in Japan. It's basically the running tour de France, just to put it in, you know, smaller terms. The big deal about that, though, is the only experienced runners that are in their group are Kakuro and Haji. So you can kind of see that there's a problem there. If you're going to run in one of the biggest relay marathons in Japan, you would kind of need to know what you're doing. But somehow that's the charm of this anime, that it actually takes the underdog story, makes it real. There aren't any of the tropes that you would find in most sports anime and turns everything on its head. But how do they do that? First, they give a lot of character diversity in all the characters that we see on the team. There's different motivations and different reasons why they're all deciding to run in the marathon for the Hakone Ekiden. And they're all real life things. Haji and Kakaru, for instance, are former elite runners who have wanted to do this their entire life. Jotaro and Jojiru, well, they just kind of want to do it to be cool and they want something to kind of be motivated by. Shindo or Takashi is an overqualified student who doesn't need to do this, but wants to find his own path. Akane is a bit of an otaku who is finally finding his own footing, finding a ground to firmly stand on that's his own and step outside of the isolating walls that is being an otaku or a neat. Yohei is a businessman, or he's trying to be. He's trying to get into the salary industry and find out what he's going to do after college, but that doesn't leave much room for what he desires out of life in, in finding something that's meaningful. Now, Musa Kamara is technically what would be your ideal exchange student. Normally, you'd see it in football or something like that, but I believe, if nothing else, he's a Kenyan runner. And as typical as that sounds, they all make it make sense. And there's nothing out of place about it. Akihiro is the older guy who's back in college trying to kind of get things done, smokes a lot, but hasn't put very much into trying anything. He's at that point in life where he's kind of jaded. And Yukihiko is just... I don't know. He's blah about all of this. He's one of those non-committal people who could probably do things if they just put their mind to it. But he's also one of the people that glues everything together in terms of how he connects all of the roommates. Everyone has a reason for doing this that is so diverse and so fulfilling that there aren't many moments in this anime that leave you unfulfilled. What they do with each character is they build a depth of content that's not often found in sports animes. The typical formula for sports anime is all about the intensity. It's all about making you feel that you're in the fourth quarter in the last 10 seconds of a game through every quarter. Hence why they use all of the different techniques or special moves and things of that nature. So that way you can increase all of the enjoyment and the internal monologues gives you a sideline view of what each of the athletes is thinking and how these things are playing out in their head because they want you to remain engaged. Whereas in any sporting event, there can be dry spots. So how does this anime take all of those things and not use them at all. 
How does it stand above the rest? And why is it something that will make a new year a new you? Well, they give you the underdog story in a real world way. There's no special formulas and there's no special training regimen or some guru that's coming down from on high that sees something in everybody. That role is reserved for Haji, who is a part of that team. He sees something in everyone, but at the same time, he doesn't have the keys for making them some professional athletes. It's just about the fun and the enjoyment and the potential that he sees in them. Their motivations all play into one another because stupid phone. Their motivations play into one another in such an intricate way that every episode you're wondering what's going to happen next and how are they actually going to do this because you're suspended in belief of realism. It's not that Kakaru is going to make everybody run like him. It's not that Joji or Jotaro are gonna all of a sudden become the best athletes on the team. It's how they become a team and how they strengthen one another, how they align their efforts to accomplish one goal. Oddly, a movie this reminds me of is Cool Runnings. As funny as it is, it just reminds me of a ragtag group of people who have probably not done this before, but are gonna come out victorious in the end. It really pulls you in and doesn't let you go. I don't often see very many people talking about this anime and I find it to be a shame. It's so enthralling. And when I was on my workout journey before I, you know, inevitably quit to eat cheese dip and everything else that I possibly could. Get in my belly. This was my motivation. It kept me engaged. It made me want to run with them. It made me want to be a part of the team. It made me feel good. I wasn't thinking about the exercise itself. I was thinking about my motivations. I was thinking about why I wanted to do this. I was thinking about winning for me, being better for me. And along the ride, I started to run with them. I started to become one of the team. There are seldom animes that make you feel so a part of the action, so integrated without ever having a fourth wall break that you feel that you hurt with them. There's no overuse of cliches here, or at least not sports anime cliches. Yeah, this is kind of their only shot at things, but at the same time, it doesn't feel the way other sports anime does because you're only focused on this moment on being in the moment, on accomplishing your goals at every step. That's what it means to run with the wind. At some point, you forget where you are and you're just in the journey. You are the journey. And while this may be abstract in the way that you're thinking, it's the biggest pull of this anime. Everyone's struggles is on display and everyone's faults and things that they want to do are right in front of you. It doesn't hide the fact that this is going to be difficult for them. It doesn't even hide the fact that they might not make it. It doesn't hide the pain of losing time at one of the relay points or the fact that there are others who have trained years for this. It's honest with the road that they have to climb and how they're going to climb it. It's honest with their advancements and where they've gone to get here. It's truly an exhilarating experience. By the end of this anime, I can't lie to you guys, I had tears in my eyes because there was such gratification in what it was that they were doing. By the end of things, the 10 people that started off as a group and went through so many trials and tribulations together are now way more. The series ends with a huge growth in membership for their cross country team, which felt earned and felt very rewarding. It felt like the legacy that they were trying to create, the things that they were trying to overcome had finally been accomplished. It didn't waste time with silly tournaments. It didn't waste time with bathhouse scenes. It didn't waste time with fan service. It purely zoned in 
on the relationship between dreams, motivation, and how to accomplish them. So when you're looking at these lists of things that you want to do and how you want to change yourself, I think that this anime will be something that inspires you, something that takes you to a different level. Why you should watch it is it gives you a different outlook on sports animes. It's motivational and inspirational to changing yourself. It's honest about what the road is going to be for you to be a better you. It shows the pitfalls of all the obstacles that you're gonna go through and gives you the actual reward of what it will be to continue working and focusing on bettering yourself. I love this anime. And I know if you just give it a shot that you'll love it too. So what did you think of the video? Leave a comment down below about your new year's resolutions or things you might need motivation on. While you're at it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified for every time that we go live over here at Gray Area Anime. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ah.